Hey everybody, welcome back to Urban Rush. We're about to tell you about an amazing play and to star in it, you can't have a fear of heights. No, you sure can. These guys are suspended for the entire play. Uh, James Saunders and Bob Fraser are the stars of Skydive, which is uh, opening up very soon. We'll give you the details later. Gentlemen, how are you? Good. good. Wonderful. Thank Thanks you. for joining Three us. Three years in the making. Who wants to handle telling us what Skydive is? James? Well, let's see. Uh, about uh, three years ago, uh, I wasn't doing any work, not too many opportunities, and I wanted to get something done. So I called up Bob Fraser, who works all the time, yeah. basically just, you know, <laughs> I wanted to get something done. And we thought, well, let's do a show together. And we read scripts and couldn't find anything. Yeah. So we, we went out and, and hired a, a writer, Kevin Kerr. And the three of us would meet at the Ivano to discuss. Uh, That's a good place to meet, Bob. That, that was, was your idea. idea. Yeah. Tell. How did you not get distracted by the beer? Yeah. <laughs> well, the beer actually helped us okay, create good. the show. The creative process. <laughs> and so Bob comes up with this cockamamie idea of falling from the sky. Wouldn't that image be great? And we thought, oh, okay, check, please. Enough of that. But then uh, a couple days later, Kevin, Kevin Kerr came back and, and said, I can't get this image out of my head. And I said, well, I've got this uh, guy I know that's got these theatrical devices called dance instruments that you can get people flying. And the rest <laughs> is history. So uh, explain that process. I mean, once you find out that, yeah, you can possibly do this, uh, what happens with the script and the plot, and, and what are you guys actually doing in there? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. We, the instruments take up the entire focus of everybody that comes in. As soon as you see them, you're like, how does this work? What, yeah. How do you fly 15 feet high in the air? How, how are you upside down for 10 minutes? <laughs> you know? But uh, we really, uh, from the get-go, we were saying, okay, look, we really have to have a script that's better than the instruments. Yeah. Because we want people walking out of there going, man, that was an awesome story. And the instruments were really great, too. Yeah. I think we've accomplished that. Oh, we certainly, So yeah. it's two, so you give guys us a play story. Two, two brothers who yeah. jump out of a plane, and it really is the whole time that uh, they're... Well, I, mean, I guess uh, that's a big to, question. Yeah, not to give too much away of the story, because there are a lot of spoilers, but we're, we're two brothers. Uh, an introvert and an extrovert. He's locked into his house, and it's my mission to get him out and living life and, you know, live life to the fullest. And I convince him to go skydiving, and things go wrong. <laughs> and this is the journey. This is the As journey. Going, oh, my God. <laughs> we have not yet <laughs> made mention of the fact that you happen to be in a wheelchair. That yeah. is not part of the plot, which I think is super important because you're saying that you didn't work for quite some time, not a lot of opportunities, but I love the fact that you being in a wheelchair has nothing to do with this play. That's right, and that was something that we were, felt really strongly about right from the get-go. We looked for plays where physicality wasn't an issue, because, you know, bottom line, I'm just an actor that wants to go out and play roles, and there's people with disabilities doing all sorts of interesting stuff. And yeah. We didn't want to fall into the triumph over adversity type story, so we made that a mission when we were doing this play that we weren't really wanting to hide or mask disability, we just didn't want to make it an issue. Yeah. Well, it's like the play, you know, you just want to be an actor, and in the play, you want it to be uh, a play, not a bunch of machines that exactly. people are fascinated by. I uh, love it. Instruments. 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 Okay. Sorry, sorry, I saw your, I saw your thing. Uh, tell us about the logistics, because, of course, uh, now that we've described it, you guys are up in the air yeah. uh, for this whole thing. For 90 minutes. How is that? I mean, that can't be very comfortable. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. I have a saying, it's... Uh, because I sit on a bike seat and have a seat belt around my waist, and uh, you, there's no relief of pressure. Right. And so uh, delicately put. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and so there's, you know, they people talk about, oh, can we do something this afternoon? And it's not TBA, it's ABA, and it's <laughs> Ask Bob's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can say it. Ask That's Bob. totally fine. Yeah. And so uh, it's pretty painful at times, but uh, it's an addiction. And yeah. James will yeah. say the same thing. And James, you know? how about you? Because the, there's more to it than you, because when you do sit in that position, I was reading the material, that involves a lot of abdominal muscles, yeah. which you don't have, I don't have. control and over. If we put me in a bicycle seat, I'd just be like a rag doll hanging yeah. off the end of the stick. It wouldn't work. The first time we did the workshop, I was sitting on a seat and I was strapped to it with all these parachute straps. And it was like being at a, a pig roast, and I was the pig. <laughs> Didn't work at all. That's a wonderful feeling. Yeah. It is. Great. <laughs> and it was, uh, it was painful, and I thought, there's no bloody way I'm going to do this show like this. So then we created this brace that was like an exoskeleton of metal that ran up the back of me, and I was strapped to that. And I thought, oh, this will work. But then because my body over time, my hip flexors don't, don't straighten, so it forced my legs to be straight, forced my gut to be out, and they, made my shoulders go back totally uncomfortable. So we had a custom fit brace made. We got physiotherapists mm -hmm. to determine the exact position my body needed to be in. 
we got engineers to orthotic engineers, guys that usually make braces yeah. for brace walkers and stuff. They did my whole body in a here. cast. Yeah. You can see a little bit. And, How much did people enjoy guys. being part of this process? Oh, I mean, it's fantastic for them. Yeah. For them, it's a, it's a, this is me training upside down. So, when the play, you guys are upside down sometimes? Yeah, we're inverted. We're Definitely in all sorts Masochists of different Masochists you are. James, both of you. Purple. <laughs> Look at your face, man. I have man. to train to be inverted because the, the blood system, it, it, it will get used to it eventually. And at first, I could only tolerate about two minutes being upside down. Now it's the most comfortable position I can be, and I can do it for half an hour. It is. Yeah. Uh, Bob, how long have you and uh, James known each other? Uh, Jamie and I went to theater school together uh, in 1989. Amazing. 15 years. So there's not a huge stretch uh, to that sort of idea of brotherhood and yeah. people that know each other. How, how, how much does that influence uh, sort of the writing of the play and, and the way it comes together for you guys, that yeah. sort of relationship? I think over the beers at the Ivanhoe, a lot of stories <laughs> came out, and I think a lot of those stories made it into the they play. They came in. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. Well, you guys, congratulations you enough, yeah. on getting it done. I Thank can't wait so to much. see it. Uh, Skydive, uh, if you want to see it as part of the Push Festival, you can go to pushfestival.ca to find out all the times and dates and please do go check it out. It's at the Roundhouse which is a great place to see a play. Also a great place to see one that needs really high season. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> January 25th. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So the website is www.realwheels.ca R-E-A-L. Beautiful. Realwheels.ca guys. guys. Thank you so much. Thank Real you. pleasure Thank you. to see you. We appreciate it. We're going to take a break and when we come back, cool and his gang stopped by a little while ago when they were in town to have a chat about their 70 million or so albums. <laughs>